Before its initial use and periodically as part of preventive maintenance, the fry pots should be boiled out, which removes caramelized oil deposits. Fill the fry pot with water to the higher of the two etched lines. Add detergent in the prescribed amount. Turn the computer on and press the check mark key. Code is displayed in the left display. Enter 1653 with the numbered keypads. Boil is displayed on the computer and the water will be heated to 195 degrees Fahrenheit, a simmering temperature. The rise of the water temperature can be monitored by pressing the temperature key twice. The first press reveals the current temperature and the second the set point for the boil out, 195 degrees Fahrenheit. Allow the water to simmer for one hour. The basket rack and baskets can be placed in the water to soak off caramelized oil. During this time, the pot can be scrubbed with a long-handled brush. Be careful and wear protective clothing. The hot water can cause injury. Do not leave the fryer unattended during the boil out. Do not drain the water into the filter pan or a shortening disposal unit. Water should not pass through the filter pump. Remove the filter pan, turn the fryer off, and place a metal vessel suitable for hot water under the drain valve. Open the drain valve slowly to minimize splashing. Do not overfill the drain pan. The steps may have to be repeated to fully drain the fry pot. Again, use caution and wear protective clothing. The hot water can cause injury. Thoroughly dry the fry pot. Get all water out of the cold zone. Close the drain valve. Return the filter pan to the fryer cabinet. Fill the fryer with fresh oil to the lower of the two etched lines. Turn the fryer on and allow it to heat to set point. The computer will display CYCL during the melt cycle, indicating it is heating with an illuminated dot between the C and the Y. When the oil is above 180 degrees Fahrenheit, the display changes to low. Within 15 degrees of set point, the display becomes dashed lines. The oil will expand as it heats, rising to the upper of the etched lines.